Welcome to Memorial Health and You. When a three-year-old cries in the night with an earache, a parent fears the worst. My guest today is Dr. David Reeves, Memorial Pediatrician. Dr. Reeves, can a child's earache lead to permanent hearing loss? Thankfully, the hearing loss is almost always temporary, but repeated bouts could lead to hearing loss. Colds and allergies can cause fluid buildup in the middle ear, which may become infected. These conditions can cause your child intense pain in the first 24 hours. Even before you call your doctor, you can give your child acetaminophen or, if older than six months of age, ibuprofen. Be sure to use the correct dosage for your child's age and weight. And remember, you never give aspirin to children under 19 years of age unless instructed to do so by a doctor. By looking in your child's ear, your doctor can usually tell if the pain is caused by fluid or if the fluid is infected. Antibiotics won't help uninfected fluid or viral infections. What if a child has frequent earaches? If we are treating these flare-ups, say as many as four to six times in a year, we may talk to parents about using preventive antibiotics or placing drainage tubes in their child's eardrums. It is always a good idea to talk to your doctor about ways to prevent ear infections by reducing your child's exposure to certain risk factors, such as cigarette smoke and allergens. The good news is most children stop having these infections by the time they reach school age. Thank you, Dr. Reeves. Would you like a free brochure explaining more about prevention and treatment of earaches in children? Call us right now at 228-868-6500 or visit us online at gulfportmemorial.com. Call 867-5000 if you'd like to make an appointment.